Hello everyone, welcome to our flight planning discussion board. Today we have our flight instructor with us with whom we gonna discuss the importance of ground preparation before the flight. So Mr. Zribi, it's a pleasure to have you here today. My pleasure to be with you Mr. Modi. So from your experience, what is the first information you check before the flight? Well, first thing first, we start with the weather. So the pilot must check the TAF, synoptic charts and all other weather resources at departure, alternate, en route and arrival to have an idea about the weather for tomorrow. Of course, calling the meteorological office can be of a great help, which can at least help you a little bit to have an overview of the upcoming weather for the next day. All right then, what happens the day of the flight? So first of all, the student pilot must come to the flight school at least one hour before the flight in order to not delay his colleagues and of course to prepare for the cross country. Then. First thing to be checked usually is the air spaces to make sure that he knows which areas must be avoided. Then he will do the navigation log in which he will take into consideration the cloud ceiling, the weather in terms of wind direction and speed, and of course the plane's performance in terms of fuel consumption and their speeds. So you basically say that the navigation log is compulsory before the flight. What about the flight plan? Is it really necessary for a normal BFR flight? Well, in some countries in here in Europe, you even need a flight plan for traffic patterns. And I do believe that flight plans, they are very useful, especially for ATCs and flight information services, because it helps them to know about your intentions and of course to coordinate with the next contacts in case you request for shortcuts above highly congested TMAs. One thing to not forget, is to close your flight plan after landing in non-towered airports because that can cause a big distress since you are no longer in contact with any flight information service. All right then, let's assume that once we are working for a big airliner, we have flight dispatchers making the flight plans for us and we as a pilots, we just cross check the flight plans in the briefing room. But for student pilots, there is a different scenario. We don't have flight dispatchers. So what would you suggest a student pilot, if he or she is going for a cross country flight, how to prepare for the flight and how to do all the preparations just before going for a long navigation flight? Well, I would suggest the student pilot to have a credit card with him or her to be covered at the worst scenarios. And then I start checking the weather from breakfast. This way I can check the evolution of the weather throughout the day at the departure airport, en route, and also at the destination airport. Above that, I choose a suitable alternate to which I can divert in case the weather deteriorates en route. Also, I gather all the information regarding the fuel availabilities, landing and handling fees. Now in the last answer, as you mentioned the suitable airport, what is the difference between a suitable and the adequate airport? Well, they usually ask this question usually for the new joiners for the airlines. Well, the adequate airport is an airport which meets the criteria in terms of runway length, air apron size, I would say, and also handling, which will take care of the airplane and passengers. But what makes this adequate airport a suitable one is the weather conditions. If the weather conditions are above or meet the minimas, an adequate airport can be referred to as a suitable one. So talking about the weather minimas, what are the margins you take in order to stay on the safe side? Well, I mean, I do follow the same rules in IASA, which states that the weather at least has to be one hour before and one hour after above the minimas. This way I can make a safety net to make sure that I will not encounter any misadventures once I arrive above the airport. So thank you, Mr. Karim, for joining us today on our flight planning discussion board. It was nice to see you and hope to see you on board with us soon. My pleasure, Mr. Modi.